Meet Becky. She's a 38-year-old soccer mom with three kids. She drives a minivan. She is a loving wife and mother and is actively involved at her church. She lives in the suburbs. Becky is pretty awesome. And one more important detail about Becky, she listens to Christian radio exclusively. Yep, that's right, and you actually already know her. Becky isn't one person, of course. She is the prototype target audience created by the Christian music industry for Christian radio. True story. She's been around about six or seven years now. Christian radio demographic research discovered that Becky is the one who is listening. So Becky is the audience they relentlessly target. So here's what happens. Christian radio plays songs for Becky. The labels know that in order to sell music, they have to get songs on radio. Radio equals Becky. So the labels coerce their artists and bands to all write and record songs for Becky. Songs that will make her feel good. Songs that tell her she is good. Songs that are safe for the whole family. Songs that remind her of her snowflakeness and tell her to turn that frown upside down. Songs that focus on love and hope. Songs that aren't confrontational. Songs that aren't theological because, man, that stuff is up in the clouds. Songs that don't talk about blood and crosses and depressing stuff like that. Songs that focus on Becky and her busy life. And if the artists or bands want to write songs for another demographic or another purpose, that's fine. They can just make music somewhere else. There is money to be made. So here we are. Bands and artists who want to be heard write songs for Becky. Christian radio, therefore, is for the most part an altar where chipper, inauthentic, boring, unscriptural, untruthful, gospel-absent, ear-tickling, man-centered songs are offered to an idol named Becky. I've been on a couple of labels in my short musical career and I testify that this is, sadly, how things work. I love Becky. I really do. That's part of the reason I'm writing this. Becky needs to be ministered to just like I do and just like everyone else does. But Christian radio and industry folks, please, I urge you, minister to her. Stop giving her what she wants. Give her what she needs and that is the gospel. Or stop calling yourself Christian. There is nothing Christian about telling someone who has cancer that they are okay. Stop tickling her ears. Becky is a human being who needs to hear the truth of Christ, not an object to use for your financial gain. Woe to you. And here's a novel idea, why not target other people besides Becky? The gospel has no demographics. Christ shed his blood for all people everywhere and you have misrepresented him. I pray with all my heart that the money tables in your temple would soon be overturned. Referencing Philippians chapter 1. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ. Moving to John chapter 4, yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the Spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. God is Spirit, and His worshipers must worship in the Spirit and in truth.